The first edition of Cecil Birds was published in 1993 to great acclaim. The book very quickly became the best-selling bird field guide for the region. And a large part of the success lay in the highly detailed artwork and the great number of plumages included in the form of male, female, immature, juvenile, and where relevant, in-flight images too. It became a landmark publication and a most sought-after field guide for bird ID in Southern Africa. In the second edition, featuring Norman Arlett's beautiful battises on the cover, we updated taxonomy, distribution and artwork, and we took the bold step of dividing up the plates using grey lines. This was to facilitate locating the species more quickly and efficiently in the field. We also introduced a numbering system, so that readers could make a swift connection between the name and text on the left-hand page and the illustrations on the right. We also added the full color quick reference on the inside front and back covers, the alphabetical quick reference, and we introduced color coding to the different bird groups. The third edition, the Black Harrier edition, which followed five years later, saw the controversial update to the bird's common names, in line with the IOC World Bird List. This caused consternation and upset in some circles, but we were bound to move with the times and we supported the drive to standardize common names across the globe. Again, text, maps and artwork were updated with the most recent findings. The grey lines separating species illustrations were refined and significantly annotations were added to the plates to highlight diagnostic features. It was another nine years before the fourth edition was published, this time with Norman's swallowtail bee-eater gracing the cover. This edition saw great improvements in the design and layout, and this along with a fair amount of new artwork and much enlarged images of the birds gave the book a fresher and more modern feel. This time we added in seasonality bars for each species to show at a glance the breeding months and the months in which the birds are present in the region. Different colors were used on the, the distribution maps to distinguish resident birds and summer and winter visitors and two colour tones helped to indicate where birds were more or less common. Now, another nine years down the line, sees the release of the fifth edition of this enduring guide, still generously supported by Sassel, and this time with two new authors on the team, two new artists, and some considerable improvements. The collective input into this edition by the authors, the artists, and the in-house team has significantly raised the bar on this trusted and popular field guide to birds of Southern Africa.